Hi, window watchers. Well, do you know what it is that I put up on the bulletin board today? And that's a great big tall hat. And that's a great big black hat. So when you think of a tall black hat, what do you think of? Perhaps you think of magicians, do you? And pulling a rabbit out of a hat? Well, that's what we're going to do today. You've been asking for some more tricks like the ones that we had last week. And that's what we're going to do today. There's a whole lot of tricks. Learn them a whole bunch of tricks that you can pull on your friends and on your family. And I stacked some books up here. They're just plain ordinary books, just so I could raise the first trick high enough so that it would be on your eye level and it would be at my eye level. And I'm going to cover it with this piece of paper, just regular blotting paper, because we're going to have some water up here, and I don't want it to get all over the books. Now then, the first trick that we're going to do today is done with two glasses and a whole bunch of pennies. I have a whole bunch of, of the pennies right here. And some water. I have water here. And a little something that's greasy. Now then, for you to pull this trick on one of your friends, it goes like this. You say, you think that you can both fill up your glasses right up to almost to the place where they're running over. And then you say, I think that I can put more pennies in my glass than you can put in your glass without having the water spill out. Do you think perhaps I can put more pennies in this glass than I can in this one? We'll say this one's yours, okay? All right. Well, just let me let you in on a little secret. Before you do that, take this greasy substance, whether it's butter or whether it's um, oil. It's just something that's greasy run it around the rim of the glass like this, just with your finger. You don't need very much on there, just enough to make the top of the glass greasy. Now you can't see it. In fact, I have a hard time seeing it myself. We'll just run it around this so that I know that there's grease around the top of this glass. See? Now then, I'm going to fill them up with water. I hope I don't spill any of it. That would almost ruin the whole effect. And I'm going to fill them just as, ooh, almost went over. There. That's just about as full as it can get, I think. And then I'm going to fill this one up. I'm trying to keep them even. Maybe one drop more. There we are. I think they're about even now. Now then, I have a bunch of pennies here. Oh, my table's jiggling. What if it comes over? Maybe I can move this one in just a little bit closer. There. Now then, first we'll drop a penny in one of the glasses, and then we'll drop one in the other one and see which one runs over first. So let's drop it in the glass that's been fixed. See any spill? I just hit the table with my leg, and it did spill all over, didn't it? You think we should start over again and see whether or not the trick will still work anyway? Let's do. Let's set these glasses back on the old oh dear. Now the water's running all over. Well, maybe I should just finish telling you how to do it. And then you can try it. And I don't think it was such a good idea to set them up on these books like this because it makes it so, so bumpy. But let me tell you the idea of it anyway. And you can try it yourself. You see, by greasing the top of this glass, I'll just put fill this one up and drop pennies in it and show you what happens. You can't drop very many pennies into the glass of water without the grease on the top. But the one with the grease on the top, we can almost drop pennies into for a long time. And if you watch very closely, perhaps you can see how the water, instead of going over the edge, raises up. I have to be careful now because if this were the other glass, it would be spilling. But can you see how the water is raised up in almost an arc right over the top of the glass there? Let's try one more. See, I can still keep putting them in. Do you know why the water isn't spilling over the sides? There, now perhaps you can see it. The water isn't spilling over the sides because the sides of the glass was greased, remember? And the grease raises just a little bit off the 
edge of the glass. We can't see it, but it really does. And it's holding that water in there. And instead of letting the water run over the sides, it's building the water up so that the water is forced up in the middle instead of spilling out over the edges. Maybe I can just see how many more pennies I can drop in there. My goodness, it ought to spill any minute now because it's almost a sixteenth of an inch above the glass line. And it's just a wonder why you, it's just, well, you really makes you marvel every once in a while how many pennies you can drop in there. But it is a good trick, but maybe you better practice it before you try it on one of your friends. Well, now let's get rid of this water and get these books out of here before everything does get all wet. But if you were trying this trick on one of your friends and something like this happened, well, of course, you'd have to remember to take your glasses and wash them off so that they were all dry before you did the trick again. You'd have to wash the one glass that had been greased in hot water in order to get the grease off of it. I'll just dump the pennies out of the glass here. Put them back in my little penny bowl and see if I can if I can bend this paper so that I can keep all the water on it. Lay it down here on the floor without spilling it. And I did too. And now we'll get rid of these books and do some more tricks. Some that we'll try not to make a mistake with. Oh, there's water all over here too. I can't very well push it off on the floor, can I? Well, let's see. I'll show you another trick with some pennies. Right here. I'll just put them out here on the tabletop. You see what I'm doing? Laying some pennies out there, and there's four pennies there in a row, isn't there? And I'm going to put one there, there, like that. Now then, the object is, can you rearrange let me see, do I have this trick right? Can you uh, rearrange one of the pennies so that four pennies in each row, you can only move one penny. Do you see one penny that you could move so that there would be four pennies in each row? You look at it very carefully. Do you see? Do you think maybe we should move this one over here like that? Well, that makes four in this row, but then how many in this row? Only three. So that isn't the way you do it. Let me show you what you do. You pick up this penny and you put it right there in the middle so that there are two pennies there. So there are two, three, four, and two, three, four. So now there are four pennies in both rows, aren't there? Well, let's move these pennies over here. Now I have a rag to wipe up this water with that I spilled. So I'll wipe off the table before we do go any farther. And then I have another penny trick, too, with the glass. We'll take this glass. I better wipe the top of it off this way. Like that. And I'm going to put a piece of paper on it. There. In the very middle, I'm going to put a penny. See? Now then, do you think that you could drop the penny into the glass without picking up the paper between your fingers, without picking up the glass? You think you could do that? This takes a little practice, too. This is how you do it. You just take your fingers like this and snap, like that, you see, at the paper. And this is what happens. See, you knock the paper right out from underneath the penny, and the penny drops right down into the glass. Now then, there's another penny trick that we can do, too. We can take a handkerchief, right? Here's a handkerchief. We'll put three pennies on the handkerchief. One, two, and three. We'll take this glass and we'll turn the glass over on the pennies so that the glass is resting on the two outside pennies, like this. And there's one penny left in the center. Now, can you get that penny out from underneath the glass without touching the, the pennies or without touching the glass? You know how that's done? Well, it's done just like this. By taking your fingernail and scratching the handkerchief right here in front of one of the pennies, and you watch, and in just a minute, you'll see the penny come creeping out underneath the glass. See? There it comes. Just by scratching the handkerchief with your fingernail. And there's the penny out from underneath the glass. 
to some sort of a vibration that sets up with your fingernail and with the material. That the material jiggles back and forth and it just pushes the penny forward in little bitty spurts like that. But that's another trick and it's a very simple one that you might want to try sometime. And let's see, what else could I tell you about? Oh, I know a good one. I bet you couldn't do this either. See this little piece of paper? It's not very big, is it? In fact, I think it's about two and a half inches wide and three inches long. I'll hold it up here right beside my head so that you can see I'm not fooling you. That's just how big the, the uh, piece of paper is, see? It's not even quite as big as the palm of my hand. Well, now if you had a piece of paper this size, hand it to your friend and say, can you put your head through this piece of paper? Well, they'll probably look at you and say, well, of course I can't put my head through this piece of paper. But then you take it back from them and say, well, I can. You watch. You take the paper and you fold it lengthwise. In other words, it's long this way and you fold it down just like that. There we are. And then with a pair of scissors, you cut slits almost to the edge, but not quite, all the way along. See, going almost to the end, but not quite. There. And then you turn it over, and you cut between these slips from the other end, going almost to the fold, but not quite, so that you're not cutting anything in two. Cut through all these slits, just like this right between until you get down to this first one again. And then, on the folded edge, you go between the first slit and you cut every fold. There. Right straight through. Cut and cut. There we are. Not the last one, but just next to the last one, and you quit. And then we'll take it like this, and we'll shake it out, and it all opens up. And sure enough, you can put your head right straight through that little piece of paper. That wasn't very hard either, was it? That's a good trick to pull on your friend. And here's another one. Here's a half a dollar, a 50 cent piece. And I'm going to lay it right here on the table, and I'm going to take off my ring. I'm going to lay my, my ring right there. And you can see the size difference. Now, do you think that I can put this 50 cent piece through my ring? Do you think I can push it through my ring? I'll just lay it there. I can put my hand over it and go abracadabra, abracadabra, whooshy, whooshy. Now, watch. I will push the 50 cent piece right through the ring. And that's just what I'm doing pushing the 50 cent piece with a pencil that goes through the ring. And that's how you push a 50 cent piece through a ring. We'll have to have some more tricks later on, but that's all for today. Goodbye.